It's been a decade since the first Tesla EV made its commercial debut and the electrification of American automotive society began in earnest. Acceptance of the newfangled technology was slow in coming at first, but over the past 10 years, electric vehicles have become a daily sight in most parts of the country. It doesn't hurt that virtually every notable automaker on the planet has jumped on the electric bandwagon with sizable investments in battery and production technologies, as well as pledges to electrify their lineups within a decade or so. Not even recent production slowdowns and supply chain disruptions brought on by the COVID pandemic managed to fully stall the industry's momentum. The International Energy Agency in January reported that EVs had managed to triple their market share between 2019 and 2021, with 6.6 .6 million units being sold globally last year. 2022 had eliminated any lingering doubts about whether EVs are here to stay. So far, global EV sales are up 70%, around 2 million units more from last year, according to a recent study from Morgan Stanley. Those figures are expected to rise a further 22% in 2023, or around another 1.8 million units. China's BYD dominated its market and set monthly EV sales records throughout 2022. Domestically, an experience study released in October found more than 600,000 new EV registrations through the first 10 months of the year, a 60% year-over-year jump. Tesla and BYD both maintained their spots atop their respective markets this year, briefly jockeying for the world number one position before BYD eventually pulled away. The Chinese automaker's EV sales now account for nearly 20% of the global total. For its part, Tesla passed notable milestones in its 10,000th Model Y produced at the Texas Gigafactory and the millionth vehicle to roll off production at Gigafactory Shanghai. 2022 also saw big moves and bigger investments from the rest of the automotive industry, especially from Ford and General Motors. Ford began delivering its highly anticipated F-150 Lightning EV pickups in May and promptly gave them teleconferencing capabilities with the help of Cisco. Um, thanks, I guess? The company partnered with California's PG&E to beta test the Lightning's bidirectional charging capabilities, developed a new battery chemistry, and announced plans to bring seven more EV models to the European market by 2024. Ford even dared to imagine a world without dealer showrooms for EV sales. General Motors had a banner year of its own. The company began production on its new flagship Lyric EV, unveiled the Yukon Denali, Silverado, Blazer, and Celestique EVs, teased its upcoming Corvette Hybrid, and secured a sizable federal loan to expand its battery manufacturing base. Not to be left out, Hyundai has announced a $5 billion investment in its own U.S.-based production capacity, including a new EV factory in Georgia. The Korean automaker announced its next EV flagship, the Ioniq 6, in July. It's the latest of Hyundai's efforts to bring 17 electric vehicle models to market by the end of the decade. VW's 2022 was fruitful as well, opening a new ID4 production plant in Tennessee, announcing $7.1 billion worth of new North American investments over the next five years, and dipping its toes into the EV battery business as well. Pfft, all Volvo did this year was debut the safest car ever. And it wasn't just the established brands. Lucid Motors is riding high this holiday season, buoyed by the November unveiling of its new top-of-the-line Air Sapphire, along with two <clears throat> relatively less expensive Air model variants, which will start at $87,000 and go up from there. The company also revealed plans this year to sell 100,000 units to the Saudi government, which has invested heavily in Lucid. 2022 also saw a drastic expansion of the nation's various fast charging networks. In June, the Biden White House proposed a set of standards for the national EV charging network. The following month, GM announced that it will partner with EVgo to create a 500-station coast-to-coast fast charge network. And in December, it opened its first two community charging initiative sites in Wisconsin and Detroit, respectively. Hertz, fresh off two significant purchase contracts with Polestar and GM, revealed that it is working with BP to host the latter's BP Pulse chargers at select Hertz car rental locations. That's not unlike what BP and VW have planned for Europe. Similarly, IKEA will team up with Electrify America to bring EA's fast charging network to the Swedish homeware maker's parking lots. And perhaps most exciting, the White House in July confirmed rumors that Tesla would be opening its expansive North American supercharger network to non-Tesla EVs by the end of the year. That's an additional 1,700 plus charging points for drivers nationwide. But 2022 wasn't all smooth asphalt and sunshine. Rivian fell on hard times this year, struggling with production issues, layoffs, price hikes, lawsuits in response to said price hikes, followed by reversals of said price hikes, delays to the R1S delivery schedule, and trim level cullings. In fact, Rivian's performance in 22 was such that it managed to drag both Ford's and Amazon's stock values down alongside with it. 
But hey, at least they didn't use the tip of their tongue to test for live wires like BMW did in July when it tried to paywall access to seat heaters that vehicle owners had already paid for. And even Mercedes had the good sense to charge $1,200 a year only for the fun time performance extras like added torque and a shortened zero to 60, rather than the essential capabilities like retaining rear end sensation on cold winter mornings. We also saw significant pricing fluctuations in EVs this year. Tesla raised prices across the board for its entire lineup by as much as $6,000, as did Polestar with its Polestar 2 single motor variant. VW conversely dropped the price of next year's ID4 by around four grand, thanks to its use of a slightly smaller battery pack. For as eventful as 2022 turned out to be, 2023 is sure to be even bigger for the EV industry. We're expecting debuts from the VW ID3, the Lucid Gravity, the Polestar 3, four different Jeeps, and the Honda Prologue SUV. The Kia EV9 is slated for release in the second half of the year, while the Buick Wildcat unfortunately won't be realized until 2024. With any luck, these EVs will serve merely as stopgaps until Volkswagen can perfect its gen travel concept and begin shuttling us all around in automated transport pods.